when you get out, you might not be making much more than 10 bucks an hour. Paying back those school loans becomes a whole lot tougher. Though. Federal regulators are leaning on for-profit schools like those to make sure that students get the education they need to have careers successful enough not to leave them with mounds of student debt. But Chef Farid Zadi has another idea. Hi, my name is Farid Zadi. I'm the Dean of Culinary Art here at Ecole de Cuisine in Los Angeles. And I'm Susan Park, the Program Director at Ecole de Cuisine Los Angeles, and I miss this Chef Farid Zadi. Chef Zadi and Susan opened a cul de cuisine in Pasadena last fall. Aspiring chefs can learn knife skills, basics like how to chop an onion or bloom was it, as I now know it's called, but we'll get to that later. They learn the art of sauteing, how to make good soup, and more complicated dishes for about four of the tuition of a bigger nationwide culinary school in my charge. The student that I have, they pay probably what I pay when I was in culinary school like uh, 30 years ago. That would be for the whole suite of courses around ten or eleven thousand dollars. Chef Zadi keeps his costs down by renting the facilities he uses, ovens, refrigerators, industrial mixers included. So our initial investment cost was a small thing, this is how he pounds stock costs. Chef Zadi was teaching at one of those big brand name cooking schools when he came up with the idea for a cold cuisine. He'd been watching his students struggle with the time and the cost of a full-time cooking program. So no car, no place for yourself to live, you have to live with your parents and all that. I mean, to me, the time will pay off, if that's really what you want to do. It's tough time, it's not, it's not part of time every day. And the top students, they could realistically move up the line if they get lucky in two to three years. Some people will never make it. So it's good that a lot of Zadi students have other things going on. Some are food writers, some manage restaurants and don't cook at all, some are graphic designers and engineers who just like food. Lisa Gillian works in retail by day. She debones chickens by night. I considered going to the Cordon Bleu, but the tuition, obviously, um, the way that they had it, I, I couldn't hold a job and go to school. You know, it had to be one or the other. She can do both because she can take as many classes or as few as she likes. Amber Reed works on websites and mobile apps from 9 to 5. And you can kind of pick and choose, you know, maybe people want to do baking, but they want to learn just a little bit of culinary basics, how to chop, and those types of basic techniques. I've got some basic techniques myself, so of course I took advantage of my time with Chef Zadi, which gets us back to Brunoise and the onions. Brunoise is supposed to be one end of an inch, one end of the inch, it's a little square, and it's one end of an inch. They're much faster than you, of course. Okay, am I going to go over and see that they are all one end of an inch? I think you will. I think you will. No, I'm not a maniac. Oh, come on. Look at all right. Yeah, so you be the judge. Be kind, though. Remember, I'm sick. My whole cooking lesson was caught on video, which I didn't need to for some reason. It's on our website, marketplace.org. Check it out. This final note on the way out of the day. What if we do this? What if we just put the serious news of the week behind us and take a second for the tidbits that didn't quite rise to the top? Comes to us courtesy, as it always does, of Rico Galliano, Brendan Francis Newman, and select members of Marketplace Day. Jennifer Collins, reporter, what story are you going to be talking about this weekend? I'm going to be talking about dinner napkins. Exciting. They, well, they're actually getting smaller by a third in the last 25 years. Which seems ironic since Americans have been grilling by, I think, about a third at least. But the thing is that people aren't wearing as nice clothes, so they don't need to cover them up by these huge napkins anymore. So, but if that were the case, then wouldn't you be seeing people walking around with, like, giant, you know, spaghetti stains on their cheap t-shirts all the time? Well, I guess we're also getting better at using forks. John Haas, editor for Marketplace. What's your story? The guy got a ride from his mom uh, to rob a convenience store. <laughs> what? 
Yeah, he robbed the convenience store at gunpoint, then jumped into the car. And when the police pulled the car over, they found him and his mom. And people say the Kamado family's falling apart. You know, family values in door. The problem is the police were tipped off by a bumper sticker on the back and said, my son's an armed robber in Cumberland Bar or something. <laughs> it's the hubris that gets you every time. Millie Jefferson, director, what story are you going to be talking about this weekend? Well, it seems that Frito-Lay is going to start uh, making their chips with all natural ingredients, except for Cheetos and Doritos. And why is that? Cheetos and Doritos are really big um, among teenagers, and they feel like labeling it all natural or natural will scare them off. <laughs> so teenagers like unnatural things? Is that what we're going to get? Them? I mean, where have you been? They like vampires. And Lady Gaga. <laughs> there is more where that came from, by which I mean the podcast that Rico and Brendan do. It's called The Dinner Party Download, and you can find the link on our website. It's Marketplace. And that's it. That's Marketplace this Friday from APM American Public Media. Our theme music was composed by B.J. Lederman. Marketplace is produced by Celeste West, the executive producer of the program. Stand by the name of J.J. Moore. My name is Kyle Rudolph. We're out of here. Have a great weekend. At 6.59 and 38 degrees, you've been listening to Marketplace on KCURFM, KCUR HD1, Kansas City Public Media. I'm Michael Myers, and you live this year. 33 tonight's low with cloudy skies, tomorrow rain and snow, light wind, maybe one to three inches of accumulation, but it's been enough said that it's going to be out closely in the non-paid services, mostly 37 degrees. Marketplace is supported in part by the Theater Bank, presenting 12th Street Jump, featuring the music of Thad Jones and special guest Stan Kissel, tomorrow at midnight in downtown Marion. More information is online at 12thStreetJump.com. The world is next. And the time is 7 o'clock. From Public Radio International, this is the world.